Yeah. If there was no, like, going into entrepreneurship where it's like, how much money can you make? Like, it's on you. How are you going to get it? It's on you. Right. What's the path to fucking starting the business? Yeah. Figure it out. Like, that kind of thing was, like, super terrifying at the yeah. time. Yeah. But it's, like, at the same time, it's, like, that's the only you're the only way you're going to get a job where you can actually, like, get rich realistically nowadays is through those, like, you know, uncharted water kind of stuff. Yeah. You know. Um, but those uncharted waters don't necessarily, you don't need to dive into those necessarily in your 20s. Because no, we're in our little bubble and we think, yeah, owning businesses, it's like there's no other life. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you're in your 20s and you're hungry to own your business, well, that's great. But understand that you're young. One of the better things. So suppose you started a business when age 21, you know, and it never really amounted to much. But suppose you, instead of at 21, start a business, you basically, um, you, you work for someone who gave you personal attention and advice and you observe them and yeah. instead of starting your own business at age 21 you learn a ton of stuff you were an insider yeah. in whatever industry you were in oh, yeah, but you're like, gonna be way better at 25 yeah job shadowing for like something you actually care about though versus yeah. job shadowing for like some fucking accounting firm yeah that your like mom wanted you to go to yeah you know so yeah definitely i mean just um there are there are definite benefits of having it it's not just a job but to be around successful people that's sure. that that is it's invaluable in yeah. fact it's almost harder to get that than do your own thing yeah yeah inevitably i always started to compare myself to the people around me that were successful though and then you like get in the mindset of chasing that number in the bank account which can be a bit of a double-edged sword in yeah. itself. Do you have any friends that, like, locally you, you chill with or, or you know, lift with or something that are doing anything like you're doing? Like they have their separate projects? No. No, not at all. I have friends that are, like, very ambitious about their jobs, but it's like working for somebody else. Right. Which is, like, fine if that's what you want to do and, like, you're totally content with that, but it's, like, they don't, like, want to pursue other things or, like, try to you know, start their own ventures. It's just yeah. like, are they happy though? Um, what? some of them are, some of them aren't, but the ones that aren't are doing shit that they actually like don't like. Mm -hmm. And the ones that are happy are the ones that are doing what they actually like to do, which is like, like for example, one of my friends is an elevator mechanic and he actually like likes working on elevators. Uh -huh. So like he works like overtime all the time and he works like a shit ton of hours he makes good money and I don't know, maybe in the future you could do make his own company, but like, it doesn't sound like he has any cares to, you know? Yeah. And I have other friends that are doing jobs that are like miserable at, and they're just like doing it because they think the paycheck is good. Right. You know? Yeah. If you're getting a good paycheck though, and you're gaining experience on something and you're in your twenties, that is as close to ideal as possible. You know, not everyone. Right. But I think that's like to a point, because once you, if you accept that for your whole life, it's a right. bit different. Yeah, just in your twenties, especially if you're ambitious. Yeah. Um, like you do kind of have to be patient, but you're not looking at it as oh, I'm gonna work a job. Yeah. You're working at it as you know, I'm. Um, you said job shadowing. You know, I'm just right. I'm gathering intel on this this whole. Yeah. yeah. You know, and um, it's it's a definitely a mindset switch when you're thinking as an owner versus thinking as a an employee. But um, you have to be ideally in a smaller, medium-sized business to to really get what's going on and see that yeah. it's not all that hard. Yeah. I mean, what we do online is not hard. Yeah, like if I was 20 or like 19 again, I just like, let's just say I was at ground zero and I had like no blueprints or references to go off of. I would literally like contact somebody like you or somebody like anybody else in the space and be like, can I work for you for free? And like, yep. I'll do a fucking good job. Yep. 